look at this though. Did we go in here? This is this alley. Uh, yeah, messed up. If anything, more trash. Ten. Ten. Ten? On, uh, showing you where to go. It's just swing from them. Oh, someone's getting arrested. How we doing folks welcome back to the channel absolutely pristine day out here in la today 75 degrees perfect weather we're gonna have a great day today fully charged saran we're out here in westlake uh we're just gonna do a little calm cruise today i want to thank everyone who's new to the channel everyone who's been sticking around since last year and the year before that thanks thank you to everyone who supported so far if you want to help me keep things going hicksfam.com april 15th is when the ultra b giveaway ends the odds are very good right now i just want to say that there's still very great odds for just about anyone who enters to win first link in the description is where you can find out more about that that's it let's go and we're off it is basically summer as far as i'm concerned summer in january that is why we live in los angeles with all the extra crap that we have to deal with uh that's pretty much the best and only real benefit is the incredible weather granted this month hasn't been that incredible actually it's actually kind of sucked mostly but right now it's pretty good when you got 75 degrees and no wind in January, it's pretty hard to complain. Now look at this big tag in this new. This is just straight gibberish. A well, fun fact, Westlake is uh, has got one of the most concentrated gang activities out of anywhere I ride in LA. Whether it be South Central, Compton, there's more gangs out here than almost anywhere else I ride. And the reason for that is because it's so concentrated. We're basically in downtown LA, which uh, if you know LA, that's where most of the people are, are in the city. Between downtown and the west side, like West LA, that's where there's like the highest concentration of people, right? So it may not seem like it, but these streets out here are active, dude. It's, it's extremely active. Here's another fun alley we will shred down at full speed. That's what we do. Life comes at you fast on this thing, man, if you're not ready. <laughs> the bike, uh, it will take you where you're going faster than you're even ready to get there. Like you gotta, sometimes you just gotta hang on. <laughs> oh man, dude. Oh, that's one way to wake up. Oh. That's, <laughs> oh my God, we are shredding. All right, <laughs> let's, uh, let's calm down just a bit. Just a tad bit. We're having a little too much fun. It's usually uh, when I get carried away. I'm having a little too much fun. Day 1000, I ride in my Saron like a big BMX bike. We got a crash Miata. This is a really nice Miata too. Unfortunate, they still got the club on there too. I don't know how that happened. Off we go, we haven't even hit the bread and butter of our ride yet. We're still alley surfing. There's so many alleys out here that I forget sometimes how many there are for me to check out. Here's another one. This almost feels like the one I just came down, but it's not. This one is different. It's a little sketchy coming up behind him, but we got it done. And look at his descent. Oh, if you weren't looking, them branches will take you right out. <laughs> oh, I haven't been down this alley in a while. There's so many little cuts back here that uh, sometimes I forget half of them exist. We're gonna take a, a less traditional route than we usually take going into Westlake. Now, last time I came down here was a long time ago. This street used to be completely filled with tents. LA is doing this shuffle game thing where they take every tent and they make them go somewhere else. Probably because there is some new development. This looks kind of fancy, so that would be my guess. But then again, you know, I just don't know anything at all. I just ride around and talk like an idiot, so. Don't take anything I ever say as factual, folks, or even slightly informed. I am a complete idiot. Just in case you couldn't tell by the way I ride my Suron, I am a complete moron. We got another alley right here, though, so I am stupid enough to check it out. Free couch, look at this barbed wire on a residential property. That is something that, I, as far as I know, you're only going to see in LA. You don't even see that that much in, uh, you know, in South Central. That just goes to show you what uh living out here is like this is a straight up apartment with barbed wire like that is that's kind of crazy right i'm not alone in thinking that's kind of nuts right leave your comments below if you ever seen barbed wire surrounding an apartment i think that's a little rare that truly says we are tired of people trying to break in stay out please this is our last resort we're putting barbed wire up next is just armored turret what do we got to do to keep y'all out 
They hit a couple more cuts and alleys. There's so much property in Westlake we haven't really checked out. Look at this, just sad dead pile of bird scooters just sitting here, laid to pasture. That's a cool little alley. I wish we could get back there. It's locked. Lots of glass back here. I this is I've never been here. I've never ever once come all the way back here. Let's take a look at what's on the ground back here. That's always a fun game. Tomato packets. That's one thing. Got a stuffed animal. Oh, and a, that's kind of sad. Some broken glass. Looks like a broken mirror. Is that a vape? I don't even know. Bro, I did not even notice that guy sitting right there in the uh, in the exit. <laughs> I think we kind of noticed each other at the same time, and we're like, uh, this is awkward. Dude, it'd be fun to shred through one of these parking. I would love to shred down one of these. I don't think we can get in here. Oh, we totally can if we wanted to. If we want to, though. We're going to not go onto um, an apartment complex today <laughs> just to ride through it and then exit. Oh, we got some pups. All right, well, that sets us here. Right kind of on the border of K-Town and Westlake. If we keep going this way, we sort of end up in K-Town and also just a weird kind of strange part of L.A. Definitely the last time I was out here was on my bicycle because I remember coming up the hill right here. Oh, a flatbed. I wonder if I could bunny hop up that. That'd be cool, but someone in the truck. So that's probably not the best idea. I don't think I'd make any friends trying to bunny hop on the flatbed. On my Suron, off we go. You guys know where I ultimately end up whenever I come to Westlake, and that is MacArthur Park. There's a bed on the side of the road and a baby thing. Something that was on fire, go figure. LA bingo, things burning. Always at least one thing on fire. Every time I come out, we will see at least one location that has recently been on fire. That's just the way it is. Nothing will ever be the same. Coming up on 3rd Street, Alvarado and 3rd, we're going to cook down Alvarado from here. Take the sights and sounds all the way through to MacArthur Park, my favorite place to get the day started. And from there, well, we'll see where the wind takes us. How you doing? I like your glasses. Oh, uh, well, yeah, they're okay. Oh, you got some uh, wraparound shades. Yeah, sometimes I wear goggles, but I prefer these. They let me see more on the sides. On the sides. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, with the goggles, you can't see. It's they're, they're better for dirt, but then I can see very little. I, I'm kind of focused. I have to turn my entire head to see, you know, what's behind me. Yeah. I need some of those though. Those look good. It looks like they have good protection. Yeah, pretty good. Don't let the light through, and then I can oh. see in the dark. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Well, thank you. You have a great day. Okay, thank you. What a nice lady. Seems like some cool tech. She said she's got night vision with them bad boys, man. Sheesh. I will uh, mind some night vision. Why is the cops got a LA Metro bus blocked off? Let's go ahead and cross here, see what uh, see what's going on. Looks like they pulled everyone off of the bus, or who knows what. What's going on? We are entering Westlake, so that means stuff's gonna start happening. Cop pulled the bus over. Looks like they're taking some type of report. Interesting. Probably, if I had to guess, some uh, knucklehead was causing problems on the bus. And the bus driver wants, uh, it takes a lot to stop an LA Metro bus. You know, that's one thing I noticed. I used to take the bus all the time when I was a kid in Northside Long Beach. We take, uh, I think it was a 51 southbound on Atlantic Avenue. And uh, dude, that bus wouldn't stop for dang near anything. It would take an entire, like a big event for the bus to, to come to a complete stop. And for everyone to get kicked off the bus like that, for the cops to stop, it'd be a big deal. So I'm assuming whatever happened uh, was big enough for that to, you know, go down like that where the cops need to stop everything. Interesting. This is the first of many things we'll probably see in Westlake. Look at this Escalade. It's actually sick. New Escalades are so cool. I would not mind. Having one of those. I'm very interested in big vehicles. Now, last time I was talking about cars, I was talking about that Tesla truck. Very split decisions. Very divisive opinions on the Tesla truck. A lot of you guys don't like it, which I expected. I expected most of you guys to not be fans of it. I'm still somewhere kind of on the fence. I don't hate it. I also don't love it. So it's like, I don't really know. Thank you. I don't really know what I feel about it personally. Would I buy one? I mean, not for 100000 I would probably consider it if it was like 60k for like an extra vehicle for some content or something. I don't know. I mean, hey, it wouldn't be too far-fetched for me to consider buying one for content. I'll put it that way. 
I'm not really crazy about Teslas. I ordered a Tesla and I ended up canceling it back in the day because uh, I just, I don't know, just decided against it, but I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see. If I get the opportunity to buy one, then, uh, you know, I guess uh, anything I say will be put to the test at that time. Anyways, coming into MacArthur Park, the one and only, the famous, the infamous even, MacArthur Park. Sights and sounds. Now, this is where I always tell viewers, look around the edge of the frame. There's so many things going on at one time out here that it's almost impossible to focus on all the things happening, but I urge you to take a look around and see how many things are going on at once while we ride around here. It's kind of crazy. Uh, we're gonna go straight through the east end of the park, which is the soccer field side. That's where we're gonna get things started. We're gonna go straight across, go through there. Oh, look at that puppy hanging out of the side. Oh, that's cute. Um, and that's... Uh, where we'll start and then we're going to keep crossing over through to the other side which is the lake side and uh we're going to kind of creep you know we're going to see what happens so this side is just crazy lately look at all this that's going on over here i'm just getting a haircut i think he is he's getting he's getting faded he's getting the first fade how much you charge for cuts how much you charge for cuts haircut how much no, haircut, haircut, how much? Ten? Okay. It's not a bad price. Bro's getting faded right in the middle of the street. So anyways, beyond all that, there's also a family party going on here at the park. It's like there's some type of church event or something. I don't really, uh, I can't really tell you, but just another day out here in MacArthur Park. The one and only, my favorite place on earth to ride because there's always something to do and something to see. Took the hot lap down to the soccer field. This place is always active. If you want to pick up a game of soccer, you live in LA, come to MacArthur Park. I've, there's never been a time where I've come here and they're not playing soccer. And they're always super deep. Oh, we got to wrap this in mud. We got around there. A lot going on. It's a beautiful day out here. So, of course, Everything's packed. Not our typical hot lap. It's usually we go left. Let's go right. Let's just, uh, we got a cop right here. I don't want to charge it down this hill right in front of this officer. It looks like he's actually giving someone a ticket or arresting someone. Oh, someone's getting arrested. That's unfortunate. I'm going to go ahead and keep on moving along, minding our business. Otherwise, a very nice day. Let's go ahead and shred up on back. To this side of the park. And from here, we're back up at the top. Now we can take a hot wrap. Let's see, let's spot our route and then we go. Let's avoid pretty much everything. I see a little jump right here. Oh, that was nice. Now, am I riding through a bunch of crap? Yes. Is it probably toxic? Yes. As part of the game though. Yes. So that's that side. I don't know, there's a lot of elevation on that side, so it's really fun to just shred through there. We have this side, which is pretty crazy. Looks like they're setting up a tent tarp of some sort. Photo shoot going on. Cool. Basically another day at MacArthur Park. Now I say this is my favorite park because it actually is. It's just <laughs> there's always something to see here, something to do. I can ride freely here. The cops tend to not care. I mean, you know, it is definitely, I don't know, it's not somewhere I'd come with family <laughs> or something like that, but it's uh someplace I enjoy riding by myself. Now you can't smell through the camera. But there is an intense smell of sage you know that sage smell that like they do in like spiritual uh you know gatherings or whatever it's like very strong right now it's penetrating my nostrils in uh, a very aggressive way it's all i can smell is sage so we're gonna try and get away from this little area because it's actually kind of kind of making me dizzy it's a little bit of haze in the air too something just kicked up at me i don't even know what that was Ooh. We're just having a ball over here at MacArthur Park today.
nice. Man, I swear, once you start riding the Saron, like it's a, like it's a big mountain bike with a throttle, it becomes so much more fun. When I first got this bike, it intimidated me to where I was scared to really try and like tread with it and jump it. And now I feel very natural on it. Like a, it feels like a BMX-ish kind of thing. Not really a BMX at all, but. Oh, okay. Be careful with the ducks. Be careful with the ducks. You do not want to get attacked by ducks. Ugh. Duck poop flinging all over the place. <laughs> Definitely just rode through a, a huge wet patch of duck poop. Yeah. Unintentional. Got a little hot route right here that I like to take. Ooh, that was a big root. Big root we ran over. Nice little hop. Okay. A little free ride action in MacArthur. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not talking so much. I'm very focused. We have to hop off right here. I don't even get around. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm extremely focused, folks. I'm trying to try not to. When you're riding on this thing, things come at you quick, you know. So I'm trying to make sure I don't run anything over on accident. Skater homies are digging it, I think. Shout out to them. We're just moving so fast today that, uh, you know, we got time for a few conversations, but not too many. And that brings us right back here. Wow, that was uh, exhilarating. How ironic is it that I get my best free riding in over here at uh, the Arthur Park? Now, it may not look like it, but this is actually the most dangerous side of the entire park, and that is because of this rail, this, um, this train station exit right here. That station, I think accounts for like the majority of Metro Prime in LA. The stations between here and Pershing Square in downtown LA, I'll take my word for that. It's probably not an actual statistic, but the majority of crime stories I see all involve these stops right here. I don't know what it is about this area. Hey man, how you doing? <laughs> Oh, that's rad. He likes the on. Dude, he looked like the GTA Joker guy, right? That guy looked rad. He had cats all on his face. He looked like, the, you know, the GTA Joker, the one that is trying to press charges because uh, he's like, you guys use my likeness without my permission. <laughs> and I mean, he got, you know, it kind of does definitely look like the guy. Oh, cute dog. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any actual case. A little pet bull. The bull. Cow. Cow, bull. Bull, cow. I am uh, carefully navigating the streets of Westlake. Don't want to mess up the produce. Oh look, we got a one-wheeler. Or electric unicycle. We're just doing the sidewalk tour out here in Westlake. Dang, that food smells so good. I'm starving right now too. Let's go ahead and pop off the curb. And you know what's coming up next, folks. A couple alleys. The first one's right here. Always a little bit of tagging and stuff to see back here. A little bit of artwork too. This is probably the cleanest I've seen this alley in a little bit. You see there's gang tagging here. If you've been keeping a keen eye on where I've been riding, you've seen gang tagging pretty much every single wall that we've been traversing for the last, uh, well, since the ride started. This uh, alley is just notorious for how dirty it is. This is actually one of the cleanest I've ever seen it. Usually this whole path is covered in trash. We're actually able to get through it. Tons of flies, which is gross, but. So I'd pick it up to the next one. So last time we came through here, this was when that fire was going. There was a fire right here on this street in this alley. And we weren't able to get through this alley at all. It was burning, literally on fire. So I think today we will be able to traverse it. Coming around. Oh. A little bit of turned up action right there. That was a big tagging on that wall. This is the alley that the fire was at. The fire was right there. As you can see, it's a little bit charred. It's a pretty decent sized fire, too. Is she a nurse? I think she was a nurse. I don't think she was living in one of these tents, but could be wrong. Could be wrong. One thing I learned about doing enough riding out here and living out here in general, never judge a book by its cover, ever. The brokest looking people are the richest. 
the richest looking people or the poorest. Someone can look like they're doing good and be living in a tent. There was a motorcycle cop right there. Didn't look like he was too concerned with me, but I guess we'll find out as I shred down this alley. Which we will be shredding down because uh, I'm not really trying to invite the uh, attention of a motorcycle cop today. We haven't gone down a bunch of alleys in a while either. So honestly, I feel like that motorcycle cop would have pulled me over. He was staring at me really hard, but he was already pulling someone else over. It's hard to say. I still feel like LA is pretty lawless with the surrounds, but one day I'm going to eat my words, possibly. And uh, all that will change anyways. We got more barbed wire hanging down. Oh, crap, just splashed me in the face. Ugh. That's why I try to avoid puddles. Jeez, that was nasty. I don't even know what that was. It was just, ugh, stagnant, standing water splashing right in the mouth. <laughs> God. Oh, if I didn't have immunity, I'd have it now, hopefully. I guess we'll find out. So we're starting to creep down into, I mean, look at this. It's definitely, uh, you know, we're in turfs all up and down here. We're in turfs. We're about to hit Pico if we keep going south, which uh, that's kind of the end of the line, so to speak. I always wondered why this road is blocked off and people park here. This looks like it's a street, but no, this is, I see cars parked here all the time. And this road is blocked off. Is there any historians in the comment section that knows why this road is blocked off? Someone's got to know. I don't. Anywho, this is what we're gonna do here. We're gonna go down Alvarado and then we're going to start bending some corners, make a left, and get back to uh, the neighborhoods that we started in. Right here on Pico, we got the alley. So we came down this alley a couple days ago. We're gonna check it out again. Still just as much dirt as last time. It's a little bit more dried up this time though, so that's very good. How you doing? So someone has been recommending that I get a front fender. That's starting to sound like a great idea because I'm kind of tired of stuff kicking up in my face nonstop. Uh, when I ride through some of these alleys and neighborhoods, it's kind of it's kind of disgusting. Oh, squirrel! What the hell? That was one athletic squirrel, huh? We have been very adventurous this month. It's nice to break it up with uh, another Westlake ride. I just I don't. Westlake is just like my second home, man. I love riding out here. I don't know what to say. A little off-road terrain. Truck bed full of stuff. Wide open, too. Interesting. Oh, look. They got the Lambo. <laughs> the kids. The kids Lambo. SVJ, too. Goals just sitting here. Hey, free Lambo. Sitting in an alley over here in Westlake. If anyone's interested, come get your kid a Lambo. It's the only way I'd ever afford one of those is getting that one back there. All right, we're going to double back through these alleys we just went down. We got a minivan. But we got to get around with these. This is my favorite alley in Westlake. I, one day, I just want to cook this like a jump. It's very sketchy to come up this blindly without anyone uh, showing you where to go. It's just swinging something that looks a little dangerous. That's... Uh, the same way that we just passed. Swing that thing like a weapon. Bro, that alley, it's just like, that is the perfect alley to, to show off what a Suron can do in the city. Obviously, they're incredible in the actual dirt, but as far as city scenarios, that alley is the most fun. A lot of these alleys we haven't been down in such a long time. It's interesting to see. I mean, this one's got even more gang taggers, a little bit of just random nonsense. And a variety of other uh so yeah <laughs> don't uh just get it twisted just because we're close to downtown we're in some rough and tough neighborhoods folks it may seem nice but uh you're out here after dark or you go down the wrong turn on the wrong neighborhood even in broad daylight could uh it could get tricky all right just zooming along he just backed into that. <laughs> I was like, what happened? Did he hit something? The world is our oyster right now. We hit a variety of alleys. We're so close to downtown. I'm like on the fence about just going down there real quick. Uh, we just might. More little taggings tucked off in the cutout here. As you can see. Variety of uh, things on the sidewalk. A scooter just right in the middle of everything. Interesting. DMX spot. I would love to come and grind here on that. Grind that ledge. And then bomb the hill. Oh, that plane Civic, that thing is cool. 
Anyways, we're back on Pico, Pico and Union. It seems like turf wars are just going down out here, man. Look at this. This is a big one. That one's like a, we're making a statement right there. They even wrapped it around to the side of the building out here. Yep. Out here in the mean streets of LA, folks. This is what's going on. Present day, 2024. Man, if you were too quick to try and get in this alley, it would not end well for you. Bam. Oh, just clothesline you right off your bike. We are so close to downtown. We're just going to check it out. We got the outdoor swap meet right here. Nice t-shirts. Variety of clothes. If you're looking for it, probably dirt cheap. Come hook the brother up. We keep going down this street. We're going to end up at uh, Staples Center with a quickness. You know what? Why not? So there's a Lakers game tonight, so it might be a little bit active already over here. Oh, wow. It is packed. I think it's that gym thing again. Everyone's wearing a lot of gym clothing. I also see like some anime looking folks. We're not even going to try and go through this wall of people right here. Go ahead and turn it around. So I'm assuming it's like an anime thing. Oh, look at the old school lowrider bikes. Clean. Hey, how you doing? Wow. Hey. Wow. Those are clean. Not a soul here at Staples. Other than that, we're going to keep on pushing. Clean bunny hop right there, I know. Oh, yeah, we got bunny hops on this thing. For sure. At least up curbs. And we hop down some stairs. Oh, that was a pretty big drop. And then we're coming right up into... Looks like they're shooting a movie here. Anytime you see Star Wagon in L.A., uh, that's a that's a big movie shoot most of the time. I'm pretty sure there's a game tonight, so I'm assuming they're just gonna clean all this out by 4 or 5 p.m. and be ready for the basketball game. Just enough space for us to slide through. I don't think we we're supposed to go through there, but uh, yeah, you know, winning downtown. They're definitely building something right here. It's like an award show thing. What on earth is this? I used to work in production. And this looks like the thing they build on Hollywood Boulevard when they have the, I don't know if it was the Oscars or what, but some big award show, they would like full on build a big thing like this on the street. It looks just like this. So I assume this is for like a big award show or something like that. That's the only thing that comes to mind. I don't know. I'm going to cross right here. Hey, what are they building right here? Is it an award show or something? Stage for the Grammys. Yeah. The Grammys. Got it. Cool. Well, now we know. Stage for the Grammys. Second we leave downtown, what's the first thing we see? More big, aggressive targets, man. Can't make it up. Pretty fun day in the city so far. I'm surprised my GoPro has been overheating. Once it starts getting warm, GoPros don't tend to last that long. But so far today, so far, so good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hope that trend continues, <laughs> to say the least. I'm not going to complain about GoPro battery life when it is good. When it is bad, I will complain. Yo, there's just a story where I think this is the one, a fire department captain went down here because there was a fire here and something blew up when he was down there does anyone remember that it was just like literally a couple days ago if you could pull up the news story uh link it to me there was like a fire down here and there was like a, a camp in there like a little homeless camp and there was a oxygen tank that exploded when he was down there and he got severely burned horrible story but i'm pretty sure this is the exact one where it happened i think that's why there's this hole here maybe i don't know maybe it's not actually it doesn't it looks kind of burnt but i can't really tell how much to go down there though how much would you have to be paid to go through there and then come out the other side because it goes through here it's a tunnel it goes out that side i was checking the pulse in the neighborhoods out here in downtown man basically summertime it's just beautiful out here perfect day for a long ride always something new to do in westlake too that's why i try to come out here once a week and just explore a little bit further every time there's always a new street or a route that we didn't take the previous time, so. I do smell something burning. I mean, go figure. We smell that literally every time we come out to the city, but today is no different. Oh, I know there's something sharp right there. That did not sound good. I think the tires are good, though. These tires, man, I swear, there's something. I don't know what they put in these CST stock crappy tires they're not that good at any one thing but they are pretty good overall at just getting the job done so that's why i do like them a lot all right coming up on one of the last alleys of the ride go ahead and get around homeboy on a bicicleta this is this alley uh yeah it's not much better than the last time we came down here there's maybe a few more mattresses 
still pretty uh, messed up. If anything, more trash. How you doing? Thank you. I think he, I thought he said that thing is dope, but now that I realize it, he probably said something in Spanish, right? I guess I'll know when I look at the footage right now. <laughs> doing the fixing move. Anytime any of my homies arrive fixes and go down hills, they do this move right here. That's how you avoid wearing out your legs going down a hill on a fixie. More big new taggings right here, red and blue right there. I wonder what the significance is of the colors right there. And this is one in black, it just says crazy something. More taggings over here. Getting up, folks. This is uh, this is LA for you. Interesting little side streets. This is a school, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if it's right there, but there's a school like right here. Uh, right in the middle of all these gang zones, folks. Life in LA. Is what it is. Right here on Wilshire and Burlington. We're gonna make a right hand turn on Burlington, go up to 6th Street, and then take it from there. Got a payphone, you guys know what to do. Bam. It's a very rare sight to see out here in uh, these parts of LA. Most of the payphones have just been straight up demolished. That was a functioning payphone. Wait, I actually didn't even realize that. That is a functioning payphone. So I guess if there was somewhere you could actually use one, it would be here. Dude, I'm sure this thing works too. Ah, yeah. Look, collect calls. Who remembers collect calls? You'd have to make a collect call. C-A-L-O-A-T-T. -T. Mom, pick up the phone. I'm at school. I'm ready to go. Click. And that would be the message that they, they would hear. When you, <laughs> you know? If you're a 90s kid, you've done that at least a few times. My school had a, a, a pay phone outside of the principal's office. Well, most of the kids like were organized, but if you were poor like me, one of your parents would be working all night pretty much and they wouldn't be able to pick you up from school at three o'clock so you would have to call one of your parents at the house line and see which one was home that day and that would be the one to come pick you up and you'd have to leave a super fast collect call message uh, so you didn't get charged because if you stayed on the phone after the call starts your parents would get pissed because they get charged like two dollars and uh you know back then that'd be like part of their hourly pay <laughs> like a, a decent portion of it too not even like a little bit let calls were expensive back in the day, man. Man, what a great time in Westlake. I could ride out here all day, bro. Damn, they're about to get it cracking. That's gonna be so good. I would move out here if it didn't. I know it would destroy the magic of coming out here and riding for me. I always just have a great time when I come ride out here. I don't even, even if I don't have the most amazing content, it's just fun for me to ride out here. My brain is constantly stimulated. There's tons of different alleys and routes to take constantly. There's stuff to see everywhere. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So, more Westlake coming up all year. That's all there is to say about that. So we will always have more and more Westlake rides. It's also a great place to hone your skills. Because there's like a thousand things to watch out for at any given moment out here. So it teaches you to keep tabs on traffic, on pedestrian traffic, car traffic, uh, learning the patterns of how people move, how cars move, situations like this where a guy's probably not really looking for you. You gotta look for everybody else more than they're looking for you. Great place to learn city riding. Basically. -hoo 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 -hoo. Had to finish it off with that, folks. Wouldn't be right without it. Gotta hit the stairs. Call that one the bike thrasher, because it is just, yeah. I don't know how many more of those this bike will survive, but I will guarantee you folks one thing. I will keep doing it until the bike breaks, because it's just fun. All right, folks, that's gonna wrap up another banger video. Make sure you guys get in comments. Let me know if you enjoyed the video or not. If you don't care, that's fine too. Subscribe if you're new. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hickspam.com if you want to support. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Peace out.